Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me and watch this video. Today we will make a little gift set. A little gift set that will contain some tea bags and this one I bought from Home goods. You could actually use any type of tea bags. So I got some of these. I got some other flavors that I will mix it up and use it for this project. So this is really, I believe, great idea for craft show, for small gift, maybe for co-workers. Many of us enjoy our tea winter time, and I think this would be such a perfect little gift. So, we will use tea. I also purchased from Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm sorry, not from Dollar Tree. I also purchased from uh, Home Goods this pack of chocolates which I thought these were so cute. There's a total of nine of them in a pack. And just to show you, we will be making something like this. So we have our teas and a little bit of a chocolate. As a packaging, they are a few different options um, you could use to pack these. And as you can see, I used few different tea bags, almost created tea bag sample. So those chocolates are really nice and they sell two different types or at least that's what I saw. They have the lighter version, Christmassy and darker one. So in a sampler that I have made, I use the darker one. So in each pack, you have nine of these chocolates. So I use three and we will be using more. We will also use cardstock. One sheet of paper. Any paper you would like. And I have this sheet from um, one of the collections, so uh, one of the paper collections that I have. So I will use something out of this sheet just for decoration. So we will cut our cardstock. And the one that I have, it's eight and a half wide. So I will need to cut a 3 inch strip and we will need one strip 5 inches by 7.5. So this will be the back of our project and we will start mounting different things on top of it. So this will be actually the little holder for the chocolates. So the little holder we will have to score and we will score at half an inch, three quarters, and one inch. And we will do the same thing on all three sides. Half an inch, three quarters, and one inch. Half an inch, three quarters, and one inch. So this will be the holder where we capture the chocolate. So this 
So now we will fold all of our scores. Now, we actually have to fold only two scores, the first one and the second one. The third one, we will leave it alone. So we will do the same thing on all four sides. So we are scoring only the two outside scores. So this is the first score and second score. First score and the second score. The second score, it's only quarter inch, so just take your time and fold this over first and the second. So this is what we have. Now the third score that I made, I made it because we're gonna cut out that window. So what we're gonna do first, we will cut out um, on each corner you have one square and right next to it there is second one. So the scores, the place between the scores, you got one, two, three, four. We will cut out that little square. So we are cutting on the first, second score. just like that. Second score and the same thing on this on this side. First score, second score and all only to the second score on the top. So we are cutting out rectangle um, the squares the little rectangular pieces we have. All right. So this is what you have right now. Now when you try to fold this, you can see that's how this looks like. And you got nice edges all the way around. So now we need to cut out little wedge on each side, but only to that first score. So we're gonna cut out wedge on both sides of each flap. Only to the first score. just like that. So now we do have a score right here on, the, on that middle panel and that we will cut out. So now I found that the easiest way to cut out this window it's actually on our scoreboard. So when we put this back on a scoreboard I can take the knife, I go we will be cutting this last score, the first score from the inside. So you can see where the score is matching and cut it all the way down to this next score right here. Okay. And we will do this I like to do it first, the long sides, I think is just easier. And okay, this one right here. And only to the first score that goes across. So now it's easy enough that we can cut from the cut 
right here so what we are doing we are trying to cut out this window just like that and we will do the same thing on this side okay so we got the window cut out and this is the piece that we have this is where we're gonna trap our chocolate okay so now what we will do we will create this little box right here just like that so when you turn it to the opposite side you want to fold the long piece the half an inch and we will glue this right on the top just like that so let me take the glue we will fold this and we will apply just a tiny bit of glue Good. my glue got stuck so I'm gonna dry it up on the inside so now little top of glue on both sides and we will glue this just like that if you got little glue peeking out it doesn't really matter because that will be glued into our cardstock so let this just dry a little bit and put it on the other side and kind of squish it a little bit right there here okay so seems like this is almost stuck we'll just push it from the opposite side and here you go so this side we're gonna keep it open for now let me take three chocolates and I will slide them in but pay attention to the orientation because you want all of them facing the same way so I'm gonna put them just this way just like that all right and you see we have beautiful cover for those chocolates so now we can apply just a tiny bit of glue just a little bit so this is all holding together and just like that it's not totally holding but that's okay because our chocolate is wrapped we can adjust a little paper okay and this opened up on me but that's okay because we're gonna apply the glue right here on those half inch flaps just like that and we will glue them in position onto our cardstock trying to kind of glue it on the middle especially looking at at the top and the bottom so we will glue it like that and I will just squish it from the other side just to make sure this all adheres so as you can see this side is done so now we need to place our tea bags on this side and in in the piece that I made I placed five tea bags 
So if you, you might have five different flavors, so that's what you could put there. Now I, I do have five different tea bags. So I got lemon ginger, so salted caramel, peppermint, caramel apple, and earth tea. Now the next step, it is important that the tea bags that you are using, they have that shiny finish. And you will see why that will be important. So for this next step, all the tea bags, they are just about the same size. They are two and a half inches wide. So we're gonna cut strip of cardstock. And I'm looking for a smaller piece. We will cut another piece of cardstock, two inches wide. by seven inches. And I cut this to seven inches because this is the dimension of the chocolate that we have just about. So this cardstock will be applied on this side and that's where we will put our tea bags. But I will use my tape. So the tape has to be longer than your seven inch piece right here because the sticky part will go on the top just like that. And we're going to fold this over and we will support this from the back. We will put additional piece of tape on the back just to hold this together. And now we will run the tape across to the other side just like that straight and don't make it too tight. We will fold it over and we will tape this back right here. And that's what we have. So we will glue this piece right here, kind of on the middle, just like that. And let's make sure that this adheres. So I will just run my bone folder just like that. So now we can position our T. I would suggest to position the T and start from the bottom. So I'm going to place the first tea bag, tea bag right there. And I'm going to place another one on the top because I do want to control how I'm gluing this or taping this. So it's going to be like this. I believe that when you place those two first, then it will be easier for you to adjust the rest of them, how you want to stack them up. And as you can see, I'm putting them right underneath, just like this. And here will be my last one. So, our insert is ready. Now, I forgot to glue 
nice paper on the back to give it nice finish which you could do that if that's what you want I didn't do it on this piece um, but you could do it and since I do have this card stuck let me trim this to Okay, this is five by seven and a half. So we got we're gonna cut this one to four and three quarters. By seven and a quarter. So it would be easier when this card stuck was still flat without this on the top and just apply this to the back to make this nice finish since i forgot to do this on the first step i will glue it now okay And this will work also. So I will just squish it just a little bit to make sure that that glue adheres everywhere. And we have beautiful finish. So if you are making this for the flea market, maybe you want to put your sticker on the back just so people know that they can look for you and your project maybe in your website store so this is the insert now mine is wrapped and I know that you can buy bags specific to this size I don't have it and I did not want to buy them only for one project so what I did I have quite a few of these which come in a cellophane already so I am just gonna trim this off And I actually used that type of bag from the Dollar Tree sticky pad. So I'm going to remove this and I will place our project right here. And I will just close it nicely, just like that. So now, this is almost done. So to make this look even prettier or more Christmassy, we will put decoration on the top. So as a topper, we need something that is approximately one inch. I'm gonna make it inch and a half. So I will cut my paper stock to three inches. And the width, I will make five and a quarter. So now we will score this. And I lost my scoring tool, but that's okay. I will use this one. So we're going to score it at half, which is inch and a half, just like that. So we will fold it. And this will become our topper. 
right here. We will glue it just like that. And I will not glue this. I will use my double-sided tape. I think this is going to be just much easier, much quicker. So I'm going to put two strips. And I think this will hold much better. Here is my scoring tool. So now, actually, you know, before I do that, if I'm going to place this right here and put some type of decoration, my thought was to use something from this sheet and just apply it right on the top. So we could use this Merry Christmas and I think that's what I'm going to cut out. And I will use this as a top. Now this is just about perfect dimension, but Gonna trim this just a tiny bit because this is not really perfect size for that. Okay, so now let's glue this. We're gonna center it. I do have my little decorations. These are a little bit too big, but we could place something on both sides to make it a little bit prettier, just like that. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to keep it just simple the way it is. And I'm going to need to apply also tape on this side right here. Because we're going to glue it to both sides. Let's make sure this is stuck. I'm going to remove the backing. So let's position this the way we want to glue it. Okay. 
Okay. And now we do the front. Just like that. And here is our beautiful gift package. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this project. If you did, please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. This really helps my channel grow. I would really appreciate. And as you can see, this came out, I believe, really, really nicely. So, I hope you like it. I hope to see you soon in my next video.